What's going on boys? No guys here. Welcome back to another video. People have been asking me about tactics. Why am I struggling? Why is everyone playing drop back, park the bus? Why is defending so hard? Why is X so hard? Why am I conceding so many goals? I've been getting tons of questions over the weekend league. So we're going to explore those and I'm going to explain to you how to counter those, how to change your tactics to stop the park the bus, how to make your defense improve better and how to fix that passing and build up play. Um, we're going to go through all of that today. Um, before I start this video, I want to say this video is sponsored by the One Football app, your one stop shop for all football information. As we're coming close to the end of the mid transfer season, the January transfer season, um, one football they got your app with all the information, transfer news, and of course they got all the list of all the fixtures and all the top tier football inf information and news to keep up to date. If you scan the QR code just over here, you can actually download the app for free because they are sponsored my video. If you download it, you actually do support my channel. So here's a free download, one football. You scan the QR code, or you can search it in the app store. Um, but anyway, guys, that is the one football app. Thank you very much for watching the video. But let's go straight into the video itself. Okay, so. Um, the biggest, the first thing is, um, is the jo is the jockeying. That's the biggest thing people are trying. That's why I said, um, it's, it's a bit of a publicity stunt to be honest. For those you know, you know, um, but you need to use the right jockey. Um, the jockey from man. And this is why I said to everyone. Remember I, when I made that video? Um, the reason there's two reasons why I really made that video. Um, I can't really explain the reasons why, but I said to you more importantly than anything is that when they, they will patch it because I knew they eventually will but I said okay, if they do patch it make sure you leave your jockey on manual because when they do you're going to struggle so the reason why people are conceding now is that they're playing manual jockey now what people are doing is it's funny because if you watched me on I was streaming yesterday on Twitch to get some footage actually and people were just running like you've seen allegedly top tier players who are scoring goals they're spamming driven passes but also they couldn't defend and that is why they're playing drop back so this whole thing how it is so even if you do this thing and you, you go like this and you leave on on it makes no difference because now the, the so-called glitch doesn't work the rest of these settings don't forget they may have switched a lot of people have been reporting that some of the settings are switched by mistake it is true so what i would recommend is going into your control uh, your your control settings just double checking all your settings are correct because for some reason some people's settings have changed i don't know why there's an issue with the bugs so that's another thing so i actually realized that my player switching was from player relative as opposed to ball relative so make sure you double check your settings because my settings weren't there not your ps settings your controller settings so go into a game online and just double check your settings are correct because i had the wrong so i was defending i was thinking why is my defender right six switching go to the wrong player it's because for some reason the game switched my settings um the second thing is the the drop back now people are playing more defensive because they can't defend with this with this kind of uh manual jockeying they're struggling so they're naturally playing more defensive don't worry as the weeks go on this will ease off this patch fair play to yeah you know what fair play to them this patch is definitely a step into the right di direction, 100%. A lot of people are complaining, but those are the guys that were spamming driven passes, corner glitches. This is why I said to every single person, I said to you every single year, I'm going to teach you basic FIFA. There's other YouTubers out there that will teach you mechanic abusing, but I'm not going to do that because you will not get better. My job is for you to get better, then you never to come back to me again. It's not for you to stay here, go in the same circle again and again and again, and come back year after year. Of course, financially and from a business perspective for me, it's a good idea, but that's not my job. Learn the basics first, then the small things like um, driven passes, you can adapt to. The problem is, is that everyone is using driven passes. So when you're going into a game, everyone's just trying to get the ball and spamming it from your CDM to your strike and I guarantee you two tips right now to prevent that one let go of the run button that's tip number one tip number two is put slow build up play now why it's because when your players are forward you're so used to spamming driven passes you force it anyway even if you can't get the ball towards them especially interceptions have changed as well so it doesn't work anymore with slow build up play it's going to slow the way you actually go forward and that's beneficial for many reasons the first reason is when you when your team plays slower it forces you to play slower as well i can guarantee you use the butterfly wings remember the butterfly wings i've told you guys many times this is the bread and butter of every single fifa fifa 98 FIFA 22 and FIFA 34 whenever that comes out it's going to be EA Sports FC <laughs> but anyway but what, but that's going to be the bread and butter if you're not doing that you're going to struggle and because everyone was so used to spamming driven passes they've completely forgot about that almost it's like it's left their arsenal so I guarantee you stop using the run button slow build up play butterfly wings and do the one twos back from your lamb and your ram I can tell you guaranteed it will change the way that you play it you're gonna have to slow down your play. No more spamming three balls. I know, for example, you can still spam over the top three balls. I think EA made it very clear that they haven't patched it yet. So there could be a thing where they've seen how it goes and may make some adjustments after. 
but that could be very much patched in the future. Right now, left stick dribbling is kind of perfect because inside the box, no one, because remember I said assisted jockey is kind of like aim lock, but now people are over overshooting the defenders. So left stick dribbling is kind of the place to go. I'll be honest, right now, if I was you, I would practice to start using left dribbling. I see if I got some clips over here actually um, from yesterday's. I, actually, I was actually recording some footage from yesterday's videos. Maybe I can show you um, some of these footages. But um, let's have a look over here while I got this on um, live now. So you can see, for example, like here, you know, when I get the ball, I don't know what clip this is, but you can see, look, left it dribbling. You see how when I get the ball, I take a touch downwards. I don't panic. I let I bait him first. He goes. You see, because he's got manual jockey on. See how he completes goes the other way, and that gives me the chance to score. So a lot of my goals um, I'll be using as well. I've been less at dribbling. Um, less at dribbling, as we know, are very good. But don't don't force it. So for example, like here's an example of me when I get the ball here. You can see I'm doing less at dribbling. But if there's nowhere to go, just pass the ball away. You can see my opponent. He's not committing, over committing. He's using manual jockeying. But you can see he's not over committing one way or not. So it can get you far, but don't expect yourself to dribble past your entire team. But when you get the ball inside the box in any form of way, I think left stick dribbling. Because look over here, you can see another clip over here. Watch this with the defending. He doesn't know what to do. He's switching players. And this guy was actually a good player. I think he was spamming driven passes. So it appeared he was a good player. But it's simple. As I said, what happens? The, what, what have I told you every single year? The bread and butter skill move? The fake shot. And I think it's really, really good. That should have probably been a goal. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know that. Hopefully, hopefully finishing gets, does get changed a little bit. It's a bit better now. But as you can see, goalkeepers are still amazing. But you can see left at dribbling. How basically no one can actually defend right now. That should have been a goal. Maybe it should have gone a cross goal there. Um, but that's where you can see left stick dribbling at its um, kind of its highest. And also, I'm finding that when you get the ball into these situations, for example, down over here. What the best thing to do is just to just cut it back. So you see here the manual jockeying. So he's over committing one way. It's hard for him. Don't for, don't use the driven passes here because they don't really work as well. But use the ball combinations and just simple left stick dribbling. And you can use lofted passes. And it really is the way to get forward inside the box. But I just wanted to show you a couple of those examples. People were asking. Um, the second thing I would say is to use a more of a fun format. Now, um, yes, I have made the meta tactics that I released on Friday. Um, I... As I said, these are the tactics if you're going to get the rank ones, the rank twos. Um, but if you want to have fun, let's say, uh, let's say for example, you're sitting here, you're like, okay, Neil, you know what? I normally get 16 and 4, but I don't mind getting, for example, let's say uh, 13 and 7 or 14 and 6, maybe one or two extra losses. But you're having fun while you're playing the game. So a lot of people are doing that. So we're going to have um, a different, um, a different tactic. So. This was the, the last week's tactics. So what we've done is we've just kind of changed it up. So we're going to release the fun tactics. That will come out, I believe, on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. So it will be these ones. I'll give you a quick uh, a quick sneak peek. Now, I still got to reorder it because I suppose it's not in the correct order. Um, but the tactics like the 5-2-1-2, they're even better now. And the reason for this is don't forget when they go forward, they are unmarked. And because people can't defend, they're struggling to attack with two strikers. And that is why I'm saying all your formations need to have two strikers, no matter what. Um, the only exception I would say is, for example, if you use the 4-2-3-1 and you have your cam and your striker, both of them on stay forward. That would be the exception. So, for example, like here, I put my striker and my cam on stay forward. That would be the exception because you can like a 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. So... I would say go ahead and use two strikers because people are playing a bit more defensive, a bit more park the bus and a bit with two CDMs as well. And they're using their CDMs to run back more. You need to make sure to use a two striker formation. And that way you've at least got two strikers. Because don't forget, if you've only got one striker, the people are struggling as well is because people, when they play the game and they're struggling with defending, they normally result to using a drop back or defense. But this will change over time, don't worry. Um, but when you're defending, when you're attacking inside the box, if you've got a 4 2 3 1, don't forget you'll have your CDMs here. You've only got one striker to distribute the ball with. Whereas if you've got a 4 4 2 or you use my 3 5 2 or something like that, although you lack the center mids, when you're distributing the ball, at least you've got two people to pass to. So if your opponent decides to man mark this passing lane, you could always just switch the ball. And you can just bring it back and pass the ball to the other striker. If you've only got one striker, let's say you ignore that guy, and he man marks, he can literally just stand there with his CDM and just man mark your striker the entire time. Do you see what I'm saying? So you want him to switch to his other CDM. And the way to do that is recycling. And I said, because people are so used to spamming driven. This is why I never taught you driven passing in the beginning. If you go back to my videos, I never taught you any form of driven passing when the game first came out. Even my FIFA school series, because I knew 
there will come a time when you was too effective and there will come a time when it's been nerfed and when it becomes a nerf you take one step forward but ultimately four steps backward so maybe you'll get an extra win or so but as I said now, that is why you're struggling. Um, so I would say definitely just focus on the Leicester dribbling inside the box. The fake shot is very, very good. The slow build-up play, focus on the one-twos. Don't forget, the build-up play is still important. You can't get away with just spamming balls going forward. Um, but you can see, for example, like here, w w watching this clip over here. Let's see if I can get this pendant over here. So you can see like here, watch this. Simple, get the ball. What do I do? Butterfly wings, get the ball to my right attack in mid. I do a one-two. Um to my CDM Diallo, that free card, still a fantastic card. I wait for that player to make a run down the wing. You see, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Then I do a driven through pass when it's appropriate. Like it's always been, I run down the wing, fake shot stop. I do a little bit of a shimmy. I see he's taken me. So what do I do? I'm not sure. I bring it back. I bring it back and where do I go? If I can't go to my CDMs, I can always go to my left mid or right mid. Now this is just to show you, for example, a lot of players are also playing stay forward because they're struggling with the no corner glitches and they are struggling with the fact that there is nowhere to kind of abuse, you know, people, the ball is still effective, don't get me wrong, but people are so used to spamming uh, driven passes doesn't work anymore. They're trying to put more players on stay forward. So you can actually realize there's actually a gap that you can utilize in between. And as you can see a gap like that, unfortunately, as you can see, um, the game for some reason decided to do a through ball, which that should have been a regular pass to Neymar's feet. That's a big issue. That's another issue entirely. Um, but you can see, for example, people have got a lot of players on stay forward. So try to play in between his front four, front three rather, and play in between those lines, um, in between the midfield. And I think you should be pretty much fine. Um, but that is kind of my tips in regards to those. So the tactics I made on Friday, they should very much apply. So don't worry about it too much. I know you may be strong, but just concentrate on left dribbling. Take the touches away. And I would say the best advice when you're defending inside the box, when you're attacking, I don't use strafe agile dribbling because you don't need to, but use strafe and agile dribbling inside the box and then just wait for your opponent to commit one way and just speed past them to create the gap. Let your opponent make the mistake first, then advance. Don't make them, don't, what people are doing is they're trying to go in into direction and let the opponent react. Let your opponent make a mistake first and then commit and the way you invite a mistake agile dribbling strafe dribbling left stick dribbling um, but that is kind of my top tips um, for the patch anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching of course i'll catch you next time peace out